I've seen a lot of videos. I'm sure you might have seen some talking about nostalgia, Minecraft, and how it seems like what we call the magic is gone. And you start to wonder why and think of all these things and people equate well, you were a kid and all these reasons and life was more simple and all these things. Yeah, it kind of touches on the topic, but it's not the root. It's not the root. What happens, why the magic is gone is because of your perspective, your awareness. And, yeah, your age does have something to do with it, but it reminds me of walking through the woods. And I think of the forest. And it's the same same thing as when I was younger. I mean, it's trees. It, it, you know, it's the woods. It's the, it's the same shit anywhere in the world. Different variations, different climate, but... It, you have trees, which decay into duff and everything, you know, uh, <laughs> plant life, shrubberies, the shrubbery, look at all that good firewood right there, I'm taking that later, look at that, big old piece of uh, cedar, whoa, big old tree, down tree, that's old. That'll burn a good five, six hours. Oh, there's some hardwood. Yeah, so, it, you know, oh, look at all that cedar. Wow, this is a jackpot right here. That's a good nights of fire. A couple nights. A couple nights of a lot of heat. Unlimited heat. Oh, look at all that. Holy shit. Yeah, the <laughs> unlimited fuel right here. But, uh, yeah. Dupe glitch? What? Trees reproduce? Cringe. Duplication? Duplication? What? <laughs> Someone's gonna patch that, dude. Trees? Trees just duplicate? They're gonna patch this pretty soon, I bet. Look at vines. Look at these actual twisting vines in real life. They're probably gonna patch that. You know? Why not thorns? They're not going to patch that. That's the way it, real life is like Moji developers. <laughs> they give no fucks. They, ow! They think it's funny. <sighs> Fucker! Look. These fucking thorns. Anyway, what happens? I'm like thinking about it, right? What is different? It's the same shit. Like, what did I do as a kid that was so different? Walking through the woods. Well, you get used to it. You get used to the mundane, everyday occurrence. Your situational awareness. And as you go through life, the more data you take in, the more input you have, the more you extrapolate and the more information and data that's contained within your, your brain. And you can extrapolate more and more off that. It's like a data set, you know, like a, like, like a large language model. What we call AI is not AI. But anyway, you collect all these things. And the more awareness you have, especially of your own mortality, and the more time goes on, there might be something more with perception and awareness underneath some kind of, you know, something like an analog of uh, quantum to physical physics, something like that that we can't really describe or measure. Could be. I don't know. But we know of the effect. As you age... Or just as each day goes by, you get closer, time seems to speed up. Life gets shorter and shorter and shorter. The days become shorter and shorter and shorter. When you're real young, a day feels like an eternity, no matter what. 
I'm thinking about it. It's because of the thoughts in your head, the awareness. What are you bringing with you? What are you carrying around with you in your mind? What are you thinking about? Where are you going? You're just a destination and this is in your way? Or is this the thing you came to do? Like, oh, wow. What's in here? Let me... Man. Ooh, can't go that way. Okay. Uh, hey, I have my machete. Ch -ch -ch Chop that. Go in there. Wow, what's over there? And, oh, check it out, you know. Go that way. Go that way. You come through. What are you doing? Same thing in Minecraft. What happens? Well, you learn all these things, and then you just want to go to the destination. You're like, oh, I want to go to the end. I want to go to the nether. I want to go here. I want to go get this so I can make this. What's the difference? Well, exploration. Just the simple curiosity. I've never been here before. It feels different. That's the thing. That's what we're missing. I don't know anything about this. Oh, what's over here? That feeling of that foreign, you know, incomplete data. You don't have anything to extrapolate on except your skill and ability of navigating the foreign... Ow, let go. Ow! Environment. Ow! Let the thorn stuck in my leg. <laughs> but... Yeah, I mean, if I had been here before, I wouldn't be noticing, whoa, what's, you know, maybe there's something under there, or what did that connect to? And then you look up, and, whoa, and then you might see something cool, or maybe some animal, or whatever. You're lost in the moment. You're not thinking about it. Time is going slower. Like when they say time flies when you're having fun, you're all occupied, because you're doing a, a thing, you're... You're just trying to get to that destination or you're doing a task and you're not paying attention to it and when you get lost in a moment it seems like time could fly by but it's like it's not like just a blank moment it feels like it was an eternity that's a thing like you might oh look i found a cool stick and then you're i don't know oh it was a junkie stick and then you go, you move on. I mean, look at all this just right now. I've been out here for like five minutes. Just dicking around, messing around. I would have walked past. I'm just going to the store and I walked through the woods. Because it's a quicker way to go. But what if you really enjoyed driving around? You, I like driving on highways and stopping off at rest areas and going to a hotel and... Well, other people are like, oh, that stuff is just the hassle that we have to deal with to get to, you know, the other state we're driving to. That's where we want to go and chill. But this was the chill spot, the, the doings and the goings, you know, the going and the doing. And that's kind of the thing, just that innocent, that's that innocence. Like, look at this, look how this tree was growing and it like nestled into that tree <laughs> how many years that took and it curved up that way this branch was curving out that way getting energy look photosynthesis still alive gaining the nutrients feeding the root system that's the same tree I th yeah that's the same those are the same trees probably shares the same root base that's the same kind of tree Oh, the, my flash turned off. Well, let me see. Should have. <laughs> I'm not prepared for that. Oh, wait, I am prepared for that. Earth isn't flat. <laughs> yeah, look, that, that branch just like was growing and just like nestled in that little nook. And, and then... It's like not connected and then it died so it's look you can see like the, there's like the indentation where it was rubbing 
and then it fits perfectly back in. There will be things like vines will grow around a tree and then the tree is like bulging around the vine and it's embedded in the tree. And like, I don't know, you could look around for all kind of stuff. You're like, whoa, you find little things that would make a cool shelter. And you're like, huh? I mean, just look at all this, just in that little bit of couple minutes. You get, you know, lost in that moment, the things you don't notice that you just walk past. Those are the things you used to enjoy. And you think like, well, oh, now I'm stuck in a remote location. I live in a, a mountain town. And, uh, you know, we have to trek to get the water. But you're thinking like, man, when I was a kid, that was exciting. It's trekking day tomorrow. Then when you grow up, it becomes utilitarian. See? Like, you're like, oh, tomorrow's trekking day. Yeah, okay. It's like a thing you have to do. When you first got your car, you're like, man, I can't wait to go get some money and buy some gas. And like, after you have your car a while, you're like, man, I have to drive around. I have to go places, man. I have to spend money. I have to. Why were you so excited before? Same thing. Still driving. You're still you. It's the world. Experiences are all the same. Well, it's it's not, though. Your, your perspective is different. But the experiences are just there still, the same. Just like why you can randomly walk out of your house leave your phone grab a little blanket or not even just to you know just go lay in the grass yeah you'll get a little you might get a little dirty so you'll be fine you throw that shit in the washer or just dust it off you know you're not gonna die it's not gonna kill you you're gonna be better you're gonna feel good <laughs> but um that's kind of why you sort of lose that magic and you might walk past things that you should just really stop and notice and take part in, even on the way to somewhere mundane like going to work. You look up and you see something, a bird or something interesting, you know, get off your phone for a little bit and you'll see that world. The world didn't dissolve or go away or disappear. It's still there. You just closed your eyes to it. That's what happened. Same thing in Minecraft. But it's still there. You can still do it. A lot of wonder in the world. So get out and explore. Yep. I'll see you next time. Bye.